I want to talk about privacy. This is a delicate subject, so there's not going to be a fancy intro. Let's just get into talking about privacy and why I want to bring it up today. So let's start with the definition of privacy. Privacy is a state in which one is not observed or disrupted by other people. A state of being free from public attention. It's a fundamental human right and it underpins freedom of association, thought and expression, as well as freedoms from discrimination. But different countries have different views on privacy, as do many individuals. But generally speaking, privacy includes the right to be free from interference and intrusion. So why am I talking about privacy in this video? Because one of my videos on That Mental Ginger Show received a privacy complaint from YouTube. Now I have no issue with receiving this complaint because YouTube are serious about addressing issues of privacy. I respect that more than anyone. And the last thing I would want is anybody to feel uncomfortable or feel like their privacy has been violated by any video that I have done on That Mental Ginger Show or any of the videos over my Ginger Media Limited company. So YouTube did give me the opportunity to edit the video in question to avoid it being removed from my channel and having any potential strikes on it. But instead, I decided to remove the video altogether. But there was something that did bother me about it. And I'm going to be upfront and I'm going to be honest. People may not like it. That's fine. The last thing that I would ever want on this channel or any channel of mine is if anybody feel like their privacy was violated. It's why every guest that has ever been on my show has always had the utmost respect and courtesy for me and especially around their privacy. Even though in some cases it was never shown to me. Most of the time I would bend over backwards jumping through hoops where I did not need to because YouTube is still a wild west when it comes to content. Yes, it's getting better with restrictions. It's getting better with privacy violations such as this and much better with copyright as it should do. I've seen channels with a lot worse content on mine get off scot-free with this stuff. Maybe they get violations and they just don't care. Or maybe they don't get violations at all because they're not a bigger channel like mine's was. But when you're dealing with guests coming onto a show, the reason they come onto the show is for exposure or to talk about issues that are on the channel. In my case, it was mental health. That's already a minefield subject. Very delicate and very controversial to do. So I would never... Bring someone on if I thought their privacy was going to be breached or violated in any way, shape or form. I'd even kept videos on the channel where maybe afterwards the guests that had been on and I didn't exactly see eye to eye afterwards. But I kept them on because there was no issues of complaints raised on either side. I was not comfortable with them being on, but they were a guest on the show, so I put it up regardless. So to have this privacy notice flung at me, did make me feel a little bit upset because every guest went through consent checks. I would ask them if they were comfortable coming on the show because most of the time the guests would reach out to me. I didn't do a lot of chasing. I would explain what the show's process was, ask if they were comfortable coming on. Once the interview was done, I would arrange a time for it to come on, scheduled in advance, so that if they decided that they weren't comfortable coming on in the first place, there was plenty of time to pull the episode, which I had to do on a couple of occasions. And I was okay with that. You don't want it to go out in air. Maybe you've had second thoughts. That's fine. But once you've agreed to it, you're okay with it coming on. You've watched the video on the channel and said that you've enjoyed the experience. I don't understand why there's all of a sudden a problem. And that's also the downside of getting these violations from YouTube. They don't go into the specifics of what the problem is. The email from YouTube, it said there was an opportunity for me to go into the video itself and remove or edit the parts of the content where the private information had been reported. It wasn't there. There was no timestamp or time frame that I could go into to remove said content. So the entire video was an issue, which was why I decided to remove it. I wasn't going to troll through an hour and a half long video to try and pick out a minute or a minute and a half of things that maybe people felt uncomfortable with. You may think that that's harsh. You may think that that's not being dedicated. But I'm a one-man band. And it was reported at a weekend when I openly admit I have downtime with my family. Because I want to spend as much quality time with my family and also have a little bit of downtime for myself, God forbid, when I can. So now I'm extra paranoid about all the videos that I have had on that Mental Ginger show. And there's a lot of them. And I've went through and had some of the videos that I have not felt comfortable with. Because no offence, if your privacy 
is feeling violated, mine will also feel violated. I'm the one who puts out the content. I'm the one who puts out the interviews. So if I'm feeling uncomfortable with a video that's had a guest on it that I have not seen eye to eye with, I am now going to hide the video. I'm not going to remove it, but I'm not going to have it on public view anymore. The issue of privacy is something that I really needed to have a good, long, hard look at. Of course, I respect their privacy, their opinions, how things have changed over the course of the time that the interview was recorded. Because a lot can change. Now, since I started doing the channel, I've changed in these last couple of years and stopped doing the channel as a result. So as a call out to every guest that has been on the show, if you are uncomfortable with any of the interviews that have been done, please let me know and I will hide the content or remove it with your consent because I don't want to go through this again. And for myself, I have went through videos that I have not been comfortable watching and I am hiding or removing the content too. If channels like Netflix and Amazon can do it, then I think mine can too. I'm sorry for the ranting nature of this video, but it is something that has made me a little bit uncomfortable, ironically. I want your privacy to be respected, but I also need to consider my own privacy. And if I'm not comfortable with it, I'm going to remove it. And if you're not comfortable with it, let me know and I'll remove the video. But I have to remind you that consent was given throughout the entire process. And I tried my damn best to respect everybody's privacy. Every guest knew what they were getting into. They all understood the rules and the guidelines of the show because there weren't many and it wasn't going to be overly edited. It was raw, it was honest, and it's just put another little stain on a show that I was really proud of at one time. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care, stay safe, bye-bye.